have you seen the young deer who walks the streets of London? Dirt in her hair and her clothes in rags. She's no time for talking, she just keeps right on walking, carrying her home and to carry bags. So how can you tell me you're lonely and you say for you that the sun don't shine? Let me take you by the hand and lead you through the streets of London. I'll show you something that'll make you change your mind. Lana McGee and me, about two homeless down and out women who just trudged through the streets of London for a good part of their life. This is Vera. I do my shopping at Marks and Spencers. Oh yeah. I'm a past the sell by date skip dipper. I love the I love the puddings. If it's a good pudding day, I'm on cloud nine. This week I'm having a sugar high. No one else seems to want the cakes because it's the new year and everyone's on a fucking diet. <laughs> I've got 25 mini Colin the Caterpillar cakes, actually, and I've eaten 22 already. I mean, I hate that name. Why the fuck would you call a cake fucking Colin, eh? Why? Also, I've got a beautiful cake that it's got a flag on it and a duck pond, and I picked out all, all the beautiful bits on it. <laughs> I'll give it to me mate, Lana McGee. That's what I call her. Oh, she's always looking out for me, Lana. She's this big, fat, sassy lesbian with a rainbow tattoo on her butt cheek from Fingless in Dublin. Lana's mum disowned her after Lana tried to tell her that her stepfather was putting his hand up Lana's skirt every Wednesday night during This Is Your Life with Eamon Andrews. And all the while, Lana's mum was volunteering, polishing the brass around the pulpit and washing the Virgin Mary at the Christchurch Cathedral in Dublin. Oh, Lana's mum was a devoutly religious woman. So when Lana smashed her mum's painting of the Shroud of Turin over stepdaddy's head and punched him in the face with a green shield stamped sales replica of the Holy Chalice, it was the final straw. Lana was sent packing. I love Lana. I really love her. I'm not in love with her. Sometimes... When we've had in cold nights and enough of the drunks in the park, we urinate all over my little world where I sleeps. On the way back to their clean lives with showers and football on repeat and Sunday morning coffee and croissants. I get up and I goes and looks for Lana. She's normally in the woods behind Betty, Way Betty Laywood's school. It's quiet there. She has a secret way in. She gets long weekends and nights undisturbed. It's a safe spot, see? It's a bit like Airbnb for down and outs. Oh, we build great campfires, me and Lana. Like kids on an adventure. Sitting watching the embers glow. It's beautiful, you know. Women are cold, gritty, stinky hands and grubby faces. We tell stories. And we toast marshmallows on the end of Lana's chop your bollocks off flick knife. That's her pet name for it. <laughs> Lana steals big bags of marshmallows from Sainsbury's for our weekend treats. The security guard knows she steals them. Um, but that's all she steals. I mean, the constant arresting of her, arresting of her isn't worth the paperwork, is it? They just turns the other way. She gives me big bear rugs after all the cakes and marshmallows are finished. 
and we falls asleep in each other's arms like Hansel and Gretel. Or Gretel and Gretel. I think I'm lucky because you see, I've got a friend, I've got a lovely friend, who not only has the same sweet tooth as me, but she knows what it feels like, street life. What abuse does to you. How you have to fight back against the silent disease that tries to burn your soul with its caustic soda. I love life.